Smooth muscle, transverse and longitudinal sections, H and E staining. The presented specimen shows the histological structure of the small intestine. The cross section shows the characteristic composition of gastrointestinal tract layers. Mucosa with epithelium and labina propria, submucosa with loose connective tissue, muscular membrane, and serosa. Let's focus on the muscle membrane, which is made up of tightly packed smooth muscle cells. The smooth muscle tissue in the intestinal muscle membrane runs in two easily distinguishable bands. In the inner band, longitudinal sections through the muscle cells can be seen. This is a circular layer of the muscle membrane. In the outer, longitudinal layer, smooth muscle cells are visible in cross-section. This arrangement of the muscle tissue is typical for tract-like organs. In the longitudinal section of smooth muscles, single cells with a characteristic spindle-shaped shape and a centrally located cell nucleus can be identified. The morphology of the muscle cell is a specific adaptation to the function of the muscle membrane of a given organ. The spindle shape of the cells makes it possible to form a solid structure necessary for peristaltic movements. A small amount of connective tissue is found between smooth muscle cells. A cross-section of smooth muscle cells shows spherical structures with significantly varying size, with a centrally located or with no nucleus. The multitude of different images showing the cross-section of a smooth muscle cell have resulted from the intersection of cells at different levels. The cross-section through the apical part of the cell will be illustrated with a small, spherical image of the cytoplasm devoid of nucleus. The complete picture showing the morphology of the smooth muscle cell will be obtained by cross-sectioning its central part with more abundant cytoplasm and a cross-section through the nucleus in the center. It should be remembered that in addition to contractility, smooth muscle cells have the properties of fibroblasts and can produce, among others, collagen, elastin and proteoglycans. Furthermore, it is worth mentioning that the cell membrane of smooth muscle cells creates characteristic invaginations, caviole. They are formed by the invagination of lipid rafts and perform functions similar to T-tubules in striated muscle fibers. Caviolin proteins, which have the ability to bind cholesterol in cell membranes, are one of the most important components of caviole. This phenomenon is extremely important for the proper functioning of the arteries. The tunica media of these vessels is made up of smooth muscle cells and caviole are considered to be involved in the formation of atherosclerotic plaques. 